guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm Sophie Cook and today I just thought I'd do a haul. Um, you'll probably see uh, this makeup look in the next video because, well, I've just filmed it. <laughs> so I've just filmed that and then I thought I'd do a haul because I have literally been buying so many clothes recently. Like, I don't know what it was when I was like, stop spending money. And I was like, okay, and I've sent quite a few things back. Um, but the things that I've kept, I thought I'd just showed you. Um, you know when you think you've bought a lot and then you show it to people and you're like, ah, I actually haven't bought that much? Um, <laughs> that's probably what this will be, but I've got a pile of clothes on the floor and I just thought I'd show it to you all. So, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I bought was this top here. Um, it just says Palm Springs and it's like, oh, um, I am going to do like a, sorry, you can't see my face. I'm going to do like a try on haul so you'll actually be able to See, oh, but I've got this one on, so, but yeah, this is just a little, if you can see, can you see the bottom of it? Should I stand up on this? Oh, so yeah, it's just, I got it in a size medium, I think, um, and I just like how it's just simple, it says Palm Springs, you know, summery uh, t-shirt, it's from Primark in the men's section, um, but yeah, I really like it. I really love the men's section in Primark, like the men's tops. So next I'll go on to like shoes, accessory kind of things, just to get the boring stuff out of the way. So I bought this belt from um, ASOS and I wanted to get like just a small new silver belt. So this was kind of the smallest one there. It's quite like the Western kind of theme, but I really like it because I got it in a size small and it does um, fit me, the smallest one. Um, Kind of like on my waist but when it goes more onto no on my hips but when it goes more onto my waist i did have to puncture two holes but i mean you have to do that with basically every belt um but yeah i really liked this and then for shoes so i was in tk maxx with my mum and she was like oh um i need to go in for gym stuff so i was like okay i'll have a browse at the shoes um and i stumbled across these now most people might, might hate them. I'm not a massive fan of like the blue um, print, but I really like how just chunky they are. Like I thought for, even though I've come back from mine, I have like a pool party, these would be really nice. Like just big, chunky. Um, what did some boy call these ant, ant stomper shoes or something when I show them it? But yeah, they're basically, they were really nice. And guess how much they were? six pounds no were they six pounds or three pounds they were the six or three pounds they were in the sale and i just thought oh that was it yeah six pounds i just thought you can't go wrong like they just look so cool i just think they look really nice with a nice pretty dress and then just boom these bad boys the next thing i got from tk maxx was this i thought it was a skirt and it was on the skirt option label thing but then it's called where did I see? Oh, when it got scanned, it said top. And I was like, oh, maybe it is a top. Like, I can understand it being a top. Um, it just looks like this. So I guess, like, a little bandeau kind of thing. But I really like it as a skirt to wear with just a little black crop kind of thing. Just a denim crop jacket. Um, I tried it on with the uh, sandals the other day. And just a belt to cinch it in because I follow these Scottish girls on Instagram you need to follow them um one's called Ava A-Y-V dot A or something like that and then the other one is called Reese. I'm gonna butcher her last name Pettigrew Pettigrew something like that um and they kind of wear like rah rah skirts but they just like they have such nice fashion sense it's really nice um but yes yeah, so I just thought this was cute it was cheap it was in the sale just thought nice little just to go out and look just slightly different to everyone else, you know? So I got that. Then the next thing I got was from, um, so those were TK Maxx. Next thing I got was from Zara. So I'll show you all the things I got from Zara. The first thing, let's get it off of this big ass hanger, was this, my mum saw it and was like, oh Sophie, that looks nice. And I was like, yeah, that's a nice, just basic red jumper. So it looks like this. You'll see it more on the trial clip, but when you wear it, it kind of, you can't see it on camera, it boxes out, like it's a really boxy, and you can kind of tie it a bit tighter, but it's really boxy, and it has these, phone's ringing, 
just ignore that, has the thing, like, black things on the ties, and I just thought, it was, it's really comfy on the inside as well, because I'm going down to Cornwall, and just back to uni, you just chuck on, like, comfy clothes, and I thought this was just perfect, and it just looks a bit different to just a normal red jumper, like, when I tried it on, it was, like, just a full-on box, I was like, this is a great, just big ass jumper just to chuck on in the winter or on colder days or like if you go into a barbecue just chuck it on top of something nice then the next thing I got from Zara is I'll try this on I think with the TK Maxx skirt it might not go very well but I think that's what I'll try it on with just to show you both pieces um was this it's like a little crop thing but they have these sleeves that go up onto your shoulders so it kind of gives a um, square neck and they're just polka dot and mesh and I just thought it was so pretty and I tried it on and these weren't as tight as I wanted them to be and I would like to wear it this summer but I think it's more of a night out slash wintery kind of top because I kind of, it's quite Halloween-y when you wear it but I just I really liked it and I just thought Sophie just buy it I bought nothing no hardly any clothes from whilst I've been at uni because I've been too poor and I just thought just buy it just get it otherwise you'll regret not getting it so I got that one and the next thing I got from Zara is I never normally shop at Zara but wow they've had some really nice pieces was this now I saw this online and I was like oh that's really pretty but that won't suit me that'll just look a bit meh. so I saw it in store when I went in but they were all covered in foundation but I was like oh just go and try it on anywhere just to see if it suits me and if it does then I can order it online now this is pretty I feel like Cinderella when I wear this it's just this puff sleeves really puff sleeved square neck um top and it's cropped and this was quite expensive this is about 25 pounds which is expensive for me for a top because I'm cheap but the quality like if this is heavy this is so heavy like um, it was quite cold the other day. I wore it to um, Wales and But because it was so it's so heavy. It just keeps you warm Like I just I'm I'm in awe of this top. I love it so much. I just want to wear it all the time So pretty it just dresses up just a normal um, Like blue crop top. I just I just think it's stunning um, You're start to see a theme with my Zara things like those have kind of had puffy sleeves the next one has puffy sleeves so this is also from Zara and I am just in love with this top. Um, I've worn it with, um, I'll probably wear it in the try on with this spotted skirt that I bought last year, but I wore it to the Harbour Fest, this needs a wash actually, um, to the Harbour Fest with just jeans and my black belt, um, which looked quite nice because it was a bit colder, but I just, it's stunning. It kind of itches you after a while on the sleeves, but it's just so pretty and I thought on the website it doesn't look that good of quality but in person it's got this like texture to it and it also has this extra bit at the bottom and I just really like that so if you want it shorter just tuck that extra bit up if you want it longer keep it down and the little spots are like felt I just oh it's just so pretty just so pretty so pretty yeah it's raining outside right now hmm I've got all of this summer stuff Yay! Okay, next I'll go on to a bit more Primark stuff, more of the boring stuff. I'll get on to Pretty Little Thing at the end, I think. Where's that from? That's from somewhere else. Um, these I got from Primark about a month ago. This is kind of like a collective haul. Like I didn't, I mean the Zara stuff I got all in one go, but like these I really liked. I got them for three pounds, they were on the sale. They're like just culottes and they're really nice. I didn't, act, I haven't actually worn them till the other week, no, the other day. And I just wore it with a white bodysuit. Yeah, so I got these from Primark just for comfort and I just think they're really cute. I really like culottes and I kind of um, got this texture to them as well. And just white little polka dots. And I really like it because you can also ruche the waist in and kind of make it look a bit paper bag-esque. Um, then the next thing I got from Primark, I haven't actually bought that much from Primark, like I, in spring I kind of bought a lot and same with winter, um, mainly because I was a student and it's all I could afford, but I haven't worn these this summer, which I really am sad about. What the hell has happened to them? Ok, 
okay, the belt's gone weird. I didn't wear them on holiday either, um, just because I have like bodysuits to go with them, but they're kind of a bit thin. And a bodysuit, just like a white one, just shows what you're wearing. So this is them, and they kind of go like that. But I just loved the mint kind of striping, because this sage green I'm absolutely obsessed with. And it's like got a paper bag waist, and it just does up. And yeah, I just really liked them. Um, I'd like them with orange, that would look quite nice. Or, yeah, just white, but... Or this sage green, but... You know, I just, I need to find something to go with them so I can wear them because I just think they're really pretty. I just love the green. I love the green on them. Then I will do the two shops I haven't really shopped at. Like there's just one thing from each. Um, so Misguided. I literally never shop on Misguided um, apart from I was like, I need a skirt. I need a white denim skirt to go with most of these things. Um, so I was like, where can I go that has nice skirts? And I was like, my black night out skirt is from Misguided, so I might as well purchase one from there. So I bought this one, um, and it's just their normal one. Um, I should probably have said what sizes I got things in. I basically have got everything in either a four or a s extra small or small. This is a medium, obviously, because it needs to be larger. But yeah, everything's in like a four or a smaller extra small depending what the basically the smallest size that the item comes in I've got it in apart from the jumper this red jumper which I would have got in a bigger size USA large oh euro large yeah so large I got that one in but this one yeah I just got it in a four and it fits really well I love misguided skirts because they actually fit your waist like I could wear this without a belt and be like kind of fine like it wouldn't look obvious that it was a bit big for me which I really like but yeah it's just this and it's stretchy as well so you can move so yeah got that from misguided now the next thing I got is from ASOS and I saw this on that Reese Perpetico I really can't pronounce her last name but um she was wearing this jumper with denim shorts and um, like Dr. Martin boots and like black ones and I just think that would look so nice so I wore this the other day to a barbecue with my white skirt and my black um, bands so it just says this and it says don't settle petal where is it on the front there and it's just got this little pattern all over and I just thought yeah you can dress this up you can just wear this over the top of a nice outfit or you can just wear it with jeans and it's really fleecy on the inside I just thought it was a really nice top just to chuck on if I'm in Cornwall or just, yeah, like what she done, just dress it up a bit and put on some black boots with it. I think in winter this would look quite nice with black boots um, and like a little skirt or something like that. Really like this, really like that jumper. Now the next thing, this is from about a month ago. Um, is from Quiz and it just looks like this. You might have seen this on my Instagram quite a lot. Um, I wore this on holiday, I wore it to Longleat when I went there and it's just got these tie sleeves. It's sage green, obviously. I love it. I could have everything in sage green and I'd be happy, but you know, we have to save our money, even though it's a pretty little thing I've come up with loads of sage green. And it's just friffles. <laughs> like has this like ruffling um I can't remember what this is called and then just ruffles at the bottom and it's just got these big ruffles here and I wore this with a denim skirt but it would also look lovely with a white skirt and I just think this is a really pretty top just to put on it can be cashed up or it could um look quite um casual it could be dressed up or it could look quite casual I just think this is really pretty everything else is from pretty little thing um so we'll start off with the boring stuff. What is it breaking? Don't say it's breaking or oh, it is. Ooh. Um, I've ordered a lot from Pretty Little Thing, but I've had to send some things back because they've been broken. Like I sent back, I'll insert the clip now of this um, polka dot, black and white polka dot dress. So I filmed it because I've ordered a new one, but I've sent this one back because it was kind of ripped here.
Um, but basically I've got this, I bought this bodysuit because I don't have white or black bodysuits. I need to order one in black, to be honest. Um, I need just basic simples that I can put with everything. So I just got this, it's got little spaghetti straps and it's just like slinky and it just goes into a little bodysuit. This is quite annoying because this is like a thong bodysuit as well. This attaches quite far to the front of your vagina <laughs> and it kind of like irritates it a bit. Um, but yeah, I really like this. It's just simple, you can wear it with... Mm, I was gonna say you can wear it... Yeah, you can wear it without a bra, I wear it without a bra. Um, but with a bra, I think you'd need a nude, quite seamless bra, because I only have white and you could see it kind of through. But when you wear nothing, you can't see your nipples through it. Um, even in daylight, it, it's really good. You can see your nipples if they're cold. <laughs> but yeah. Now, the next thing I got is underwear, because I haven't bought underwear in a while, and I need to start buying underwear, because oh, I just need, I just need, you know when you just need new underwear, and I love this, and I'm going to get this in the white, the black, and the blue. Because <laughs> they have a cobalt blue, like a royal blue, and it looks stunning. So I bought this, it's quite, not as, like, because I like quite thongy, that's why I can't buy much underwear, because you find the really nice bra, and then the pants are just big ass pants, and no. So it was like this, it has three little strings, you can wear this one down below, in the middle, and then that to kind of pull it up to the top. Um, but as you can see, it's quite big on the bum, it does kind of go into a thong, but it's kind of like a bit Brazilian. Um, so that's the bottoms. I got these in a, ooh, in a four, extra, no, extra small, because um, I've got small boobs and a small bottom. So then the top looks like this, and I've never had, like, hardly any bras suit my boobs. Like, nothing makes them look nice. But this, oh, this has made my boobs look lovely. Like, I have nothing really, and this has just done, just does wonders. This does wonders for your boobs. For I don't know about people who have larger breasts, but smaller, this just makes them look big and perky and pretty. And I love the colour. So yeah, I got these. I don't know how much everything was. Um, I'll try and link everything down below if I can. Um, I don't know how you do that, just find the link and yeah, I'll work it out. If not, then um, just comment down below and I'll try and like just comment the link back. Um, I'll try and do that. Now, the next thing, everyone was asking me where I got this from. Literally, I had I posted this on my um, Instagram story and um, whilst I was going out and I had a lot of comments. However, don't buy this dress. <laughs> don't buy it. The main reason for that is because it rips it completely, it's this material, and I said to my mum, like, oh, should I just get the size up? And she went, Sophie, even if you got a size 18, it would rip on you. She was like, it's that material that would that just rips. And I don't, it's petite, right? Whose fucking arms are this thin? I, it's cut off my blood circulation. So I got it in a four, and it's petite, so I kind of shouldn't have done that, because I'm not, um, well, I'm not petite, so I should, like, I'm, I'm five, six so i should have been like oh sophie it's probably gonna be too short on you but i have the issue of this is too big around my waist it's too big around the whole upper area but it's tight it's not even tight on my bum but it is kind of tight on my bum and it's tight on the bloody arms i don't know whether i need to lose some weight on my arms or what it is but jesus these arms are tiny so i've got <laughs> like a rip down here they gave me my money back for it but they said just recycle it and i was like yeah that's fine and I was going to fix it with my mum, but she was like, Sophie, it's just going to rip again. And I just, this huge rip here. Um, but it's so pretty. Like, it has these puff sleeves, and then it goes into these, um, and just dangles at the end. And then it's got this on, like, the boob area, and then goes into this, like, corset -y detail, and then just goes down. And I thought it was just so pretty, but it just, yeah, no, I just would not recommend buying this at all like even if you are the tiniest little stick in the world the top the this would be too big for you and then the sleeves would fit you like you can't get a happy medium because if the waist fits you the, the sleeves are just gonna be too small like they're t they're tiny if your arms can fit into that then eat some chicken wings because that they're literally 
I've, I almost lost an arm trying that one, honestly. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I got was quite basic again. I think it's a pretty little thing, yeah. So I got this in a four. This is just a, it's kind of gone a bit weird since it's been in the wash. It's just a little um, bandeau, um, little, little tie bow. I didn't realise how small it was going to be. Like it is quite, uh, doesn't cover much, but it's still pretty. And I wore this on a night out. It's nice for a night out. I don't know if you could wear it in the day, unless you kind of turned it around maybe. Um, but yeah, I really like this because when you're wearing a denim jacket, it kind of just looks like you're not actually wearing a top. It just looks like this little <laughs> thing shows. Okay, now the next thing I got, I wore this out for drinks the other day, like just casual drinks with Ella. I should have got her to take a photo of me in it, not gonna lie. Um, I need to start getting photos in my outfits. But um, it's this little um, red dress. It kind of looks like, you know this ones that everyone has? I have it in my wardrobe and it's got the sleeves and it kind of is tight. You know the one that I'm on about from Pretty Little Thing. If um, you've seen it, almost everyone has it. Um, that's why I don't wear it because I've seen too many people in it but this one and it just goes down and it's so pretty because it's ruched on the sides so it really looks just stunning on the sides it has a zip all the way down and then this is sticky so it really stays up and it just kind of poofs and then you have these little sleeves that go off your shoulders or you can put them up to be like square neck so they're just super pretty I really like this dress. Um, it is quite a bit big. Um, I like wearing it with a belt, um, just because it is. It does puff out quite big on the stomach, even though it is a four. Um, yeah, I really like this. It's very pretty. Now, the next thing I got is a night out dress. I saw this online when I was um, on holiday in Mallorca and I was like I need it. It's sage green, it has puffy sleeves, it just looks stunning. Now I'm a bit like unsure just because of the skirt of it um, is this kind of material where it looks quite formal, like it kind of looks like a works outfit like on the bottom rather than a night out, like it kind of needed to be like a uh, like a lycra stretchy kind of material. Um, but it just looks like, let's just sort this out, shall we? I want to wear this for a night out, my next night out, even though I might feel a bit extra in it. So it just looks like, this needs to be a top. Yeah, let's go back so you can see this. So do you see what I mean about the skirt? It's quite like um, formal material. The back is pretty, the back goes just like this. Yeah, the front I just thought was stunning. Like these sleeves are just so puffy and stunning it just it does look quite corporate like like I'm going to a business event but really um, like a young as a young person but I need to wear it I wish I wore it on like my, my birthday night out because it reminds me of my birthday drink dress but I just think it's stunning the colour the sleeves I just think it's stunning so I need to just go out of my comfort zone and wear this for a night out with just some clear heels Clear heels, a white little bag. Um, I think this would look really pretty. I only have two more things. The next thing is sage green, obviously. Um, I don't know whether I'm going to send this back or not. I really, really love it. But the cups are very small. Even though I have small boobs, they're very small cups. And they kind of are in a weird shape where you just it just doesn't suit it. Like if they didn't have these cups, it would look stunning. Um, but it's this, so do you see what I mean? Like, you'll see what I mean when I try it on. They just don't really fit, they don't really suit. Um, but then it just goes down, and it's obviously, I love polka dots, love polka dots, and I love sage green. So, this was like the perfect thing. And it has these just ruffles all up the sides, and it's just a stunning dress, apart from the fact it's got these weird cups on them. But it's just so pretty, like, it just needs to not have those bits and just start like a little bandeau kind of thing it's just super pretty so you'll see on the trial what I mean about it and then last but not least I bought this lilac dress Ooh. I want to get in a photo in this because it's just really pretty um, you could wear this on a night out or you could wear it um, casually so it kind of Basically, it's that same material again though that rips and I just 
that's why I might, st oh, I don't want to send this back, but then I don't want it to rip on me. <laughs> but it has this one sleeve like that, that goes up and it kind of carries on into this ruching. And then it just goes down like this. And it's just got these like, um, what do you call this? There's a word for like all of these. But yeah, I just think it's stunning. You can wear it with just some um, white trainers or um, just some clear heels. I think it just looks stunning on a summer's day, little picnic. And it's got these like wires here. And again, it's got the like stickiness to keep it up on you. But I just think it's really pretty, like really pretty. But yeah, so that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I will try and link everything down below. Um, this video um, of this makeup will be out. Um, I think this video is going up on Wednesday, so I think um, this might be up on Saturday or Sunday, maybe Friday if I can. Um, but I'm water skiing this weekend, so it might be up on Sunday. But yeah, if you um, enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, like about to say like again no and um, please subscribe to my channel I'm trying to get to a thousand followers I'd really like 2,000 by the end of this year even though it might not happen but that is a target if I keep uploading um, please comment down below what you'd like to see from me um, as I really like to do like some challenges if there's anything or um, maybe not more hauls because I've I got a lot of recommendations to do hauls and I'm too poor. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to see more makeup tutorials, if you want to see client makeup tutorials, um, any food challenge videos, um, anything, I will do anything that anyone wants. Obviously the uni vlogs will be starting um, when I go back to uni around the 15th of September because a lot of people have been asking when those will start again. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching.